Okay, and we're back. Um, luckily, it put us back here, so that's cool. Um, the reason I sound kind of uh, distant is because, like, I'm just gonna put off by this whole, this whole thing. It's dark. I don't like it. Just, uh, man. Cause, like, he he said, like, in the videos, he said my name, and like, I don't know. That that means it's someone we know. So. I oh, don't know, that just kind of puts me off. So let's flex, and yeah, let's get this over with. Oh man. Like, okay, wow, wow, we just lost a lot right there. Body shakes, alright. Uh, don't like this, uh. Okay. Uh, flex again. Okay, like, I don't get how I'm supposed to make that, like, honestly. Okay, we're about to lose again. You let go of him. Okay. Okay, I don't get how I just died. Honestly, I, I don't, to be honest. Okay, anyways, it's just gonna put us back at the same place, right? I hope so. <sighs> oh, man. Alright, good, awesome. So we're just gonna go back and keep on trying this. So, like, last episode, I just recorded for a really long time. Like, I'm talking about, I recorded for, like, an hour straight. So, yeah. This whole thing is just, oh, man, it's putting me off so bad. Like, I thought all we were gonna do is go on a date with Undyne, and then go back and fight Asgore, and I thought that was, I thought that was that, but... Uh-uh, nope. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff we have left that needs to be done. Alright. Like, we gotta find out what is going on over here, because this, this is messed up, dude. I don't like it. Alright, so we're just gonna uh, flex. Flex to your arm. Muscle shakes. Oh, God, he's so weird. H how did I lose health? I don't get that. Let's scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. Oh, he said, but nobody came, just like Flowey told us. In the fight with Flowey. Okay. Let's unhug. Teeth shake. Do you think I'm pretty? Um, I don't know. It depends on the person, honestly. Okay, how did I die? How did I die? I don't get that. Alright, we finally made it past that guy. Alright. DT extraction machine status inactive. Hmm. Oh, determination extraction machine. God. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Okay. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Hmm. What's in here? It's refrigerator. It's empty. Obviously, it's not. Um, entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Uh, dang it. I was trying to get it whenever it shook to see what happens, but nothing happened. Alright, there's a note on the f on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you can read. Alright. Now we just need one more. Correct? Oh, behind it. Nothing. Hmm. I'm, it. I'm trying to get it whenever it shakes to see if anything happens, but I can't. My timing is terrible. Okay. So, let's go look at the curtains, see if we find anything. And nothing. Okay. So, that just leaves us with one more key, and that is the blue key. So, where could that be? So, the only hint that I get for the blue key is cold, so, I don't really know what to do, to be honest, <laughs> because I, I don't know, I just haven't seen anything cold anywhere, like, or in this place, so, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know, so, I'll just keep looking and I'll keep, oh! Oh, oh, gotcha. Cold refrigerator, gotcha. Alright, I'm dumb. Wow. <laughs> it's refrigerator, it's empty. So it has to be in here, right? 
I don't know. I don't know. Um. All right. So, oh. All right. Yeah, we seem to have found the final key. Awesome. It's so cold. All right. Uh, let's let's laugh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snow. Uh, I hate this man. Haha. <laughs> God, I really do hate this. Let's heckle. What? You didn't say that? Man, I don't like this. Okay. Joke again. Joke again. You won. Awesome. And there's a blue key. Awesome. So now let's go put the blue key in and find out what is going on with Alphys. Because this is actually really weird, to be honest. Okay, and we did it. So now we got to go back and go to the central door because it's it's now unlocked i i assume it is at least um um i saw that i swear to god that thing was like clothed i swear all right here we are at the central door let's see what it beholds or let's see what it holds seems like another elevator that's powered down or something like that all right Turned off. Turned off. Alright, Alphys. What are you doing? It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, this is so weird. Hey, stop! Alphys. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway. The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were the one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconceiv inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came back- that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's because of these guys. Not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I'd be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take the concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physically they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into... those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now? Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure that there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Oh, wow. So. That was, uh... Um... Who are you smiling? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared but just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. <gasps> Flowey? Entry number ten, 18. The flower's gone. Oh my god. It was Flowey. 
It's a voice you have never heard before. Daniel, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Daniel, see you soon. Ah, uh, I don't like this, man. What's ha what happened? All right, is this is this it? Is this is this the fight? I don't know, man. This this could be it. Cause if it's a voice we've never heard before, then Asgore, you know. Oh, I mean, we don't have any money, so oh well. All right. Yeah, it's Asgore, all right. There's no music this time. Alright. I've said alright 30 times in the last 10 seconds. Alright. <laughs> oh, man. There's just no music, so I don't know what else to do. But I think we're about to go do the pacifist ending now. I'm pretty sure. Because he said, you know it's time, so... Yeah, that can only mean one thing. Um, alright, let's go here. Yeah, looks like it's it. Looks like it's time. Alright. Let's keep going. And going, and going. <laughs> it's taking forever, holy crap. There's no save points either, what? Alright, the golden flowers... Alright, so here we are again. We're gonna save, obviously, because, yeah, in just in case, I'm gonna cut it here, and then I'm gonna be right back, okay? Alright. And we're back, so, let's do it. Final fight, your final pacifist fight, I guess. And we're gonna do it without any healing items, because we don't have any items. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? All right, I'm gonna make sure I'm ready, and once we are, we'll we'll do it. All right, it seems like we're ready, according to my guide that I'm following for this. Uh, spoiler free, by the way. Um, it seems I am ready for for this, so let's do it. I see. This is it, then. ready all right we're doing the Asgore fight again this time it's it for good strange light fills the room twilight is shining through the barrier it seems your journey is finally over you're filled with determination man human it was nice to meet you Goodbye. So, I just realized that the entire fight... Um, wait, what? Toriel? What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I couldn't stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. It is, is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you get one soul. 
taken six souls from the humans and then come back and freed everyone peacefully, but instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I'm a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. Aww. Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey, nobody hurt each other. <laughs> Dude, everybody's here. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. <laughs> uh, hi. There's two of them? <laughs> Papyrus. Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. <laughs> Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? <laughs> Sands. Hey, guys, what's up? That voice. Hello. I think... Oh, my God, my cat. Hello. I think we may know each other? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sands. And, uh, same. Oh, wait. Then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wow. I can't believe Asgore's clones know who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus? What is a skeleton Tala's roof with? Oh my god, Toriel tells the same bad jokes. Hmm. Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles. <laughs> Shingles. <laughs> I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. So sometimes you've just got to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. Uh, it's, like, it's just a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? It <laughs> the audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up, man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys. No. He's right. Let's do it. <laughs> well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Oh my god. No. No. Uh, wait. Not in front of the human. Uh, right. S sorry. I got a little carried away there. Heh. <laughs> my child. It seems as if you must stay here for a while, but looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. But hey, that reminds me. Papyrus? You called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say I, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny... flower? <gasps> oh my god. He did not just kill all of them, please tell me. You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend's souls are going to be mine. Hehe. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them, without that, they wouldn't have come here, and now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. A real form? Hold on a second, my cat's being uh, annoying right- Okay, good, she's gone. Alright, we're good. Alright, <laughs> she's knocking everything over, okay. The worst time to knock everything over, tiger. I hate you. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. 
over and over and over. Hehehe. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Dude. Uh, what? Aw, oh, that's low down, even if it means killing you one million times. Oh, man. Dude. God, look at Undyne. Uh, what? What? Toriel? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, you will always be there to protect you. What? Oh, Undyne and Papyrus. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can get. You can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. Huh, <laughs> Sands. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But, but, somehow I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're with you too, come on, you got this. You've got to win, you can do it. Oh man. Muffet? Froggit? The yellow guy? The little volcano girl? Man. No. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Dude, no. 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 Is he killing everybody? Is this going to quit out my game again? What? What is this? What is this? Is this like a kid version of Asgore? Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Oh. Howdy. Daniel. Are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel, Dreamer. It's the end. Alright, this is the true final boss. Asriel. Oh, wow. Uh, hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Oh, it's, it has Toriel's attack from the beginning of the game. Oh! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, this is so cool. Uh, let's, let's hope again. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. Oh my god. Uh, so much to dodge. Holy crap. Man, I love the music, it's awesome. Charges... what? You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Just... it's probably just gonna say just to you. Wow, that was, that was terrible. Um, calls on Chaos Saber. Let's hope. Damage reduced. After I defeat you and gain control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Oh man. Okay. Shocker breaker. Hope again. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. Uh, don't like this. Oh wow, I suck at this game. Okay, spare? Then we can do everything all over again. I don't know about that, man. I mean, whatever, man. Ah, we died. Great. Alright. 
Oh. But it refused. Alright, good. At least it's not going to make me restart. Okay. Alright, hope. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Awesome. So at least it's not going to make us do it. Explanation again. Oh, wrong side. Okay. Uh. Oh, man. Okay. Hope again. Do I just need to beat up Azrael until, like, I win? Is it kind of like that Asgore fight? Or what? Oh, man, I'm so bad. Here, I'm going to try that. Oh, miss. So, can I only land criticals or something? Alright. So... Nope, nope, I guess we just can't hit him. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Do what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> just, wow. <laughs> it's really difficult, wow. Okay. So the stars or not. Okay, almost avoided all of it. Um, hope again. Which one is it? The stars. I don't like the stars at all. Alright. Ready's Chaos Buster. Which one is that? You think about why you're here now. Alright. Ugh, that one's so hard. Alright, calls on Chaos Saber again. Alright. Let's keep on, and then you'll lose to me again. Which one? Which way? Alright. Ugh! I keep getting it mixed up. Alright, just stay under Azrael the whole time, I guess. Alright. Dream. And again. Okay, alright. Ready Shocker Breaker 2. Your items fill up with dreams. And again. Alright, nice. Um, last dream? Through determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. Because you want a happy ending. Dude. This is this is really cool. Like I wasn't expect like I already knew who the final boss was for pacifist, but I didn't know it was this. Like I thought it was anything but this. Because you love your friends. Well, yeah, I mean they're they're cool as crap, dude. Have you met them? Oh uh, crap. The mix-ups. The mix-ups. All right. Here, let's heal it. No, let's save it. Dream. Because you never give up. Ah! I lost, dang it. Oh well. We can always try again. And hope again. To reduce all the damage I take. At least you get like an unlimited supply of like healing items, you know? At least it does that. Okay, so dream and dream again I'm so bad at this game oh I can't get over how bad I am at this game like holy crap okay so let's hope again. I'm really liking this battle music though, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. It's pretty unique. Alright, it kinda reminds me of Diantha's theme from uh Pokemon X and Y for some reason. Oh my god, I died again, are you serious? Okay. Okay, hope again. Alright. We're gonna do it this time. Hmm. 
Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. Alright, just follow Ezreal. I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. Awesome. <laughs> I God, I suck at this game. Alright. Try again. Okay, so hope again, and then we need to start doing the dreams. God, I keep forgetting to stay in the middle. Okay, so dream. God, like, like that's so, God, I just can't follow it, like, gosh. Huh. All right, let's try it again and again. Okay. All right, just follow Ezreal. God, I'm so bad at this. Holy crap. Okay, do I have All right, good last stream. Awesome. Like, it, it comes out so quickly, like... And then that happens! It's like, how am I supposed to avoid that? I don't know. It's... Oh, it's so hard. I guess I'm supposed to, like, mix up the dream and hope thing. Like, on turns that I know that I can avoid the attack with, like... Use... Hope. And... Use dream on the ones that I know I can't avoid. Alright. Here, let's see what he's doing. Chaos Blaster, okay. So, I know I can't avoid that, so let's... Alright. And... Oh my god. Okay. Alright, that was really close. Holy crap. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Uh, this one. It's tag, I don't... <sighs> this is taking forever. Oh, wait. How come I still have last stream? Okay, what's he charging? Oh yeah, this one. Okay, he's doing Chaos Blaster. I know I'm terrible with that, so... Oh my god, like, I, I can't keep up with it. I just, I can't do it. And then especially that one, like, I don't know. What's he doing? Oh, this one. Alright. Nice and almost dead. Alright. Last stream again. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Alright. Oh, oh, that's the same thing we saw in Office's laboratory. Oh, man. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Alright. What? What is that? God, we can't do anything but struggle. Can't move your body? Behold my true power. Yeah, that's your true power, man. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Please. Okay. Alright, good. Struggle. Alright. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. The 
the whole world is ending. Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Okay. Alright. Still? Come on, show me what good your determination is now. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. Oh, uh, All I gotta choose? Toriel. You reached out to Azrael's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. Uh... Mercy. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Alright. Asgore, that's you attacking. Stand there. Mercy again. So familiar to her. Okay, same thing. So I gotta do something different, right? Uh, hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Alright, Asgore. Uh, you tell the lost souls you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Suddenly, her memories are flooding back. Seeing her remember you, the male lost soul tried harder to remember you too. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Aww. I feel something resonating within Azrael. Uh, let's save Papyrus and Sands. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Alright. So, let's, uh, let's tell a joke. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. <laughs> Just give up, I did. Oh. The lost soul stands there. Uh, let's do a recipe. The lost soul is trying hard. Is trying to hide its joy. Then everyone will. Why even try? Oh crap! Okay. The lost soul stands there. Okay. Let's uh, tell it a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you with the puzzle. You'll never see him again. The lost soul stands there. Okay, um, let's tell it. Let's insult. You insulted the lost soul. Suddenly, its memories are flooding back. Seeing how nicely you treated its brother, the other lost soul remembers too. No, wait. You're my friend. I could never capture you. No, I'm rooting for you, kid. All right. Let's save Undyne and Alphys. All right. The lost soul appeared. Um, let's uh, fake it. You tap the soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is similar to her. All humans will die. Uh, it's been a while since we had a fighting style like that. Alright. Let's smile. You gave the lost soul a big smile like you, remember, like you remember she likes to do. For some reason, she sort of wants to smile back. You're a real enemy. Still got it. Alright. Um, recipe. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Alright, what about you, Alphys? One more. Alright, Alphys. The lost soul appeared in her dress. Wow. Um, let's nerd out. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? No, not really. Oh, no, I'm not about to lose this, am I? Okay. Let's, uh, call. You called the lost soul on the phone, she starts to sweat. She doesn't know why, but this is all seems very familiar to her. I've kept lying. Oh, wrong one! Ah, uh, I'm so bad at this game, holy crap. Okay, let's try that again. 
Let's call. Okay, good job. Alright. Stands there. Let's quiz. Alright, I've got to keep you from lying. Alright. Nerd out. Poor favorite cartoon is suddenly the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Alright. Feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you. Something else began resonating with the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. <gasps> the yellow guy! The yellow guy! Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? No, Flowey! It's Flowey, right? Isn't it Flowey? Oh, what's this? Is this when I fell down? Is is that me when I fell down? Oh, shut the fuck up, you cat. Oh my god. You just ruined a moment. Oh man. Let's save Azriel. Yep, it was me. What what did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Oh. Is he gonna do this till he kills us? Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Daniel, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Oh, they avoided me just like they did in the Toriel fight. I'm doing this because you're special, Daniel. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Daniel. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So, please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Oh, man. Stop it. Stop it. Now. Oh man, this is so depressing. Daniel? I'm so alone, Daniel. I'm so afraid, Daniel. Daniel? I... I... Well, there he is. I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Daniel? I know. You're not actually Daniel, are you? Daniel's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's... A nice name. Frisk? I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside of me, I not only, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels as though they all really love you. Huh. Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. 
I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends? Family? Bystanders? There's no excuse for what I've done. Let's forgive. Yeah. Wh what? Frisk, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first... There's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. Wait. Is he gonna kill me? What's he doing? Oh. Oh, he's setting everybody free. And including the six, the other six kids. What? The barrier was destroyed.